may not be seen, and the fallout from it may well be unnoticed. This radioactively contaminated material continues to emit two kinds of radiation, known as beta and gamma rays. Of these two forms of radiation from fallout, gamma rays are the most dangerous. Beta rays have a range in air of only a few yards and are stopped by ordinary rays. Gamma rays, on the other hand, have a very great penetrating power, similar to X-rays, and only gradually lose their intensity in passing through dense material. With a human body, the degree of penetration by radiation varies considerably. Beta rays are harmless unless the source of the rays gets within the body itself or is in actual contact with the skin. Gamma rays, however, are much more penetrating and can cause very serious damage to the deeper living tissue, which in severe cases will be fatal. Furthermore, their deadly work is not instantaneous because these rays build up an accumulating dose so long as one is exposed to them. Casualties may not therefore occur immediately. In fact, not until several days or even weeks later. Before considering the means of protection from radiation, it's necessary to see how radiation is measured. Just as the pint is used to measure fluid and an inch to measure length, so the unit used to measure radiation is called a runner. A dosimeter is the instrument used for measuring an individual's radiation dose as it is received. And a radiac survey meter is the instrument used for measuring dose rates. These two together can be likened to the speedometer of a car, which measures the total mileage covered and also the speed in miles per hour. Any exposure to radioactivity is undesirable, but there are certain limits which the body can tolerate without undue damage. It's recommended by the medical authorities that the operational permissible dose taken over a short time should not exceed 25 runtimes. This can be taken in one single exposure or spread out over several hours. However, over a period of intermittent doses, the human body is less susceptible. There's reason to believe that working in shifts spread evenly over a period of 24 hours, the total acceptable dose can go up.